Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this cool fracture animation. So let's get started. To create this effect you need your add-on. Don't worry, it's a free add-on. To enable the add-on you can just click on edit and open preferences. Then go to the add-ons tab. Search for the self fracture. Simply you can just check mark the self fracture add-on. You can add your own model. I'll use this cube for now. Press Ctrl or Command 3 to add subdivision. Then press the right click and shade smooth. To apply the subdivision modifier, press Ctrl A. Before we use the self fracture add-on, we need to add some particles to the object. Go to the particles tab, add a particle system. First the number of particles, I am going to set this to 500. This will determine how many fracture pieces you want. Set the end frame to be the same as a start frame. It will create all particles at same time. Go to the material tab and change the base color as you like. Add another material, one for outside and another for inside. Add an emission color and increase the emission strength. Then select the object, go into search menu and self fracture. Let's click that. What we want to do next is the set the source limit to be the same as your particle count and offset or material index right here to 1. Then change the margin value to 0. This will remove any gap between the fracture pieces. And in the collection field, create a collection you want all fracture pieces to be put in. If we click OK, we'll see the effect. I make sure to hide the original geometry. Now we have all these fracture pieces. Let's add a new plane and make sure your object is not in the same collection as the cells. Split the area and go into geometry node editor. Create a new geometry node and delete the group input node. Let's drag and drop the cells collection into the scene. Turn on the separate children option and set it to relative so that each object in the collection is treated as a separate object. Add a scale instances node, a translate instances node and connect it to the geometry output. So now we could go and hide the original collection so that we only have the geometry nodes version. Press Shift A, add a position node. Now let's create an empty object so that we could control it. Let's drag and drop the empty object into the scene. Press Shift A, add vector math node and press Shift D to duplicate. Let's connect the position right here and location right here and set this to the dot product. It gives us location of each fractured piece from this empty. Add 3 in the x axis and add a map range node. Connect to the scale socket. Change add to subtract. This is looking good. But change the linear interpolation to a smoother step. That makes it smooth. And play with these parameters and you can get a lot of cool animations like this. Like this. Or like this. Press D to duplicate the map range node and connect it to the translation so that we can constrain the distance so that it doesn't go crazy. So as we can see here, if we move this right and left, this is scaling the instances horizontally. So let's move this over a little bit and turn off the local space. Press shift A and search combine XYZ node. Connect to the X axis and you will get like this switch to g axis ok so that looks good but i want to change the axis you can experiment and check what you like here you can connect two axes at same time you will get lot of variation check every parameter and play with it press shift a to add an area light Click on viewport shading, go to all properties and set the strength to 0. Hide the overlay so you can have a clean viewport. Go to object data properties and increase the power of the light. Move the light to the right position. Rotate your camera and you will get like this. 
if you want to create like this set the from max value to 3.6 and to max 1 now for this one set to max value to 2 and from min value to 1.2 these are really awesome animation i hope you like the video create something beautiful with it share with your friends like the video it helps to reach someone like-minded you can suggest any topic for the next tutorial